program. So uh, this is International Atheist Olympiad and uh, this video is to make you understand how to choose the levels and categories for your kids or your students while you are applying for this Olympiad. So before uh, we delve into you know uh, much deeper first you need to understand that there are two basic divisions there are two basic divisions of the students who know 36 formulas and those who don't know the formulas sorry 34 formulas and those who don't know the formulas okay so what are the formulas these are the formulas uh, this is also attached in the email the formula table big friends small friends so these those students who have already completed this formula they have practiced they will not be considered into level zero they will move from level one onwards like level one level two and forth but those who have not completed or who have partially completed they will be going to appear in level zero okay so now level zero is divided into three categories based on the age group so category e is category a is for the students who are below eight years so category b is for 8 to 10 category c is for 11 to 13 years so i again i repeat level 0 is only for those students who are who have not completed the formulas the 34 formulas okay so this is the first thing that you need to understand now what kind of questions will come for category a for category a students in level 0 this is the kind of the questions they will get so it will be single digit three rows question okay it will be a mix of multiplication uh, sorry mix of subtraction and addition as you can see over here 100 questions will come okay and each question will be getting uh, you will be getting one mark there's no negative marking total 100 marks and you'll be getting 30 minutes to solve all these 100 questions now uh, the the grading parameters are just two first out of 100 how many correct answers were given second how fast the questions were completed okay in abacus the speed is the main thing that's the game over here so if the speed is uh, if somebody has completed all the 100 questions and taken more time to in comparison to somebody who had completed all the 100 questions and taken less time then the less time person they will be the winner okay so the speed i repeat the speed how fast you are doing the question and how many correct answers you got in on these two parameters you will be judged the marks will be provided I'll also show you the exam panel. You can see this is a sample exam panel. For example, uh, once you will open, you will get questions like this, like 7 minus 3 plus 4 plus 63, and you will be presented with 3 to 4 options where you need to choose the correct one. You have to tick the correct one. Okay. So, 100, once you will do this, you can move to the next one. And then, uh, again, you will be answering the question. So, this is how you have to do it. Okay. So, I hope level uh, 0, category A is clear. Now, move to category B. Again, category B, same uh, addition and subtraction, but now the rows are increased. Now, you can see there are 4 rows. Same for category C, same addition and subtraction mix, but the rows are increased. Now, there are 5 rows. Again, single digit. This is also single digit. This is also single digit. Category A, you have three rows. Category B, four rows. Category C, five rows. Okay. All of them will be having 100 questions and the rules apply to all, as I have told you previously. Okay. So, I hope this is clear. So, level zero, if your child has not or your student has not opted for and completed the 34 formulas, please go for level zero. And depending on their age group, you can choose which category they belong to. So, this is level zero. Now, coming to level one. Now, those students who have completed the formulas, and you know uh, they are uh, below in, in uh, they will be in level one now level one what is level one first let's see the level one so level one is just like category c it will be single digit addition and subtraction in five rows okay so as you can see three plus five minus two plus three plus seven hundred questions will be coming just just like category c okay uh, in level zero here you can see there are five uh, like five rows in single digit so same thing goes to level one so if your child has done the formulas you can go up for level one level one the question format will remain same the same question format will be there okay as i told you um, five uh, rows and single digit okay but you have can you need to choose the category based on the age of the child 
if the age, age is between 5 to 7, category A, 8 to 10, category B, and 11 to 13, category C. The prizes will also be given or the trophies and the medals will also be awarded category-wise. You will be getting it. Okay. Now, moving to level 2. Now, level 2, the questions are a bit different. You can see. Here, there are two categories of question. First is the 70 sums who will be in double digit, three rows, and 30 sums, again, in this format. So, double and single digit mix. So, you will find, again, the addition and subtraction are there, but in level two, total 100 questions will be there, and the questions will be in this format. You can see all these in our exam format page. Okay. So, this is the type of questions. 70 questions in this format and 30 questions in this format. Okay, this is a bit, because it's a double digit, it's a bit on a higher level and we recommend it for the students who have already completed the 30, 34 formulas and they are uh, proficient in solving these kind of questions. Now again, here there are three age categories. If you feel your child is comfortable in Abacus, they are in level 2 and they can do these kind of questions. They are proficient in doing these kinds of questions. So depending on their age group, you can choose level now coming to level 3. What is level 3? This is the type of question in level 3. Here you can find double digit 4 rows, then double digit 3 rows and then there are multiplication questions. Okay, single digit multiplication question. So uh, 2 digits multiplied by 1 digit in multiplication. So 20 questions will be in this format, 30 in this format and 50 questions will come in this format. Total 100 questions over here as well. So again as you can see it's a bit uh, on a higher level. So if the child is proficient to do these kind of questions, they can go for level 3. Again, in level 3, you have to choose the category based on the age group of your child. What is the age? Now, finally, the level 4. So, level 4, as you can see, now apart from multiplication, division is also there. Here you can see 20 questions in this format, 10 questions in this format, 20 in this format. So, these are the, you can see, that the questions are distributed. Total 100 questions will be there. And they will be coming from addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay. So this is how you, if your child is comfortable in this one, then they can go for level 4. Again, in the level 4, choose category based on the age of your child. Okay. So uh, this is all what we wanted to discuss regarding the categories. How you can offer categories. How can you offer the levels. If you still have any queries, please don't hesitate to reach out to us to contact at abicusolympiad.com and we will be, uh, we'll try our level best to help you in this. Thank you so much for your time. Good day.